try these questions from one CXC CSEC multiple choice mathematics examination. Remember, calculators are not allowed in this exam. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and resume when you have an answer for each question. Okay, let's go. Question 55. A reflection in the x-axis? The answer is A. B was a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin or a reflection in the line y is equal to negative x. C is a rotation 90 degrees clockwise about the origin and D is a reflection in the y-axis. Question 57. In a right angle triangle by Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Therefore, the hypotenuse squared is equal to the other two sides squared, a squared plus ab squared. The square root of a squared plus 16 squared is equal to a squared plus 16. Remember that the square root of a squared plus 16 is the same as a squared plus 16 to the power of a half. So when we have the square root of a squared plus 16 squared, this is the same as a squared plus 16 to the power of a half squared. And we know from the law of indices, when we have one power expressed to another power, we multiply the indices. So this would be equal to a squared plus 16 to the power of a half multiplied by 2. And a half multiplied by 2, the 2's would cancel to remain with 1. a squared plus 16 to the power of 1 is equal to a squared plus 16. So we have a squared plus 16 is equal to a squared plus ab squared. If a squared plus 16 is equal to a squared plus ab squared, it means that 16 is equal to ab squared. Taking the square root of both sides, the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of AB squared is AB. We get that 4 is equal to AB, or AB is equal to 4. The answer is A. I am Mr. Dubey. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.